Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and we're here doing your weekly reading for June 21st through 27th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome in and if you're returning, welcome back and I'm truly grateful and very thankful for all of your likes, shares, subscribes and your fabulous energy. Just a reminder, this is a general reading so not all the messages that come out will be for everybody. Take the parts of the reading, whether it's a little bit or the whole thing, that apply to you and leave the rest behind. So let's see where we go. Messages for Gemini, please. What do we need to know for the week ahead? You may also want to check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign readings as well for the bigger picture and additional information. So we've got the spider spirit. Okay, I like that. All right, now it's not that I'm, you know, necessarily, I mean, spiders are wonderful. Um, you know, they serve a great purpose. Um, you know, and they're very creative. They eat insects, you know, all of those wonderful things. Um, I happen to find them a little bit scary if they are outside, they're in their natural habitat, but quite often they find their way into my shoe. I don't know why I'm forever finding spiders in my shoes. It drives me nuts. Anyway, so we've got the spider spirit. Trust the creative spark that you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. Okay, so... Uh, some of you may have some creative writing skills. Uh, you, there may be something that you're working on at work, okay, some presentation, presentation or something. You may have some schooling that you're doing and you might have like some, uh, you know, some essay to write or a dissertation or something. Now is that great time to tap into that spider energy. But you may also be looking to write something for fun. You may have a blog of some sort. It could be a travel blog. All right. If you are, um, you know, if you have some uh, wonderful energies in the kitchen, right, you know, cooking, baking, that kind of thing, there may be something that you've been thinking about for a while and starting some sort of website or, you know, a cooking blog or something along those lines. OK, something that is uh, you put your writing skills um, to work. OK, so whether it's for work, for school or for fun, now is the time where you just, you are full of ideas, your words flow from pen to paper easily. Okay, so it's a wonderful energy to tap into. But when we get the spiders, the spider energy, this is also, um, you know, it's also a very creative time for you, even if you're not doing some writing. Okay, it's a time to create something, a hobby. Um, you know, um, you know, if you have like, um, you know, some sort of, um, side hobby or something where you make things like artists or maybe you make candles or something like that and uh, you might be considering turning your hobby into a job doing something either on the side and making a little bit of extra cash or if you already do that it may be it may be a time where you have the opportunity to turn that into a full-time business and you know make a living doing something you love making creating um your own uh your own opportunities so we also have into the unknown and this is an interesting energy because this is one of having a deep inner knowing that you're on the right path but you may not necessarily be knowing where you're going where you're headed the path forward may feel a little bit um a little bit uh, shaded for you and spirit wants you to know that that's okay you don't always need to know what's at the end of the road for you okay um, you don't always need to know how you're gonna get there it's one of being focused on day-to-day day-to-day uh, -day things and when you focus on the day-to-day -day things and break things down you will find your way forward and solutions or opportunities will actually present themselves to you. So it's like being blindfolded a little bit, right? You can feel your way forward and you kind of know what you're doing, but you're not entirely sure where you're headed or what your activities will lead you to, especially if you are looking to create something for yourself, right? You might not know what comes out of it. And especially if you're doing like any kind of writing, um, you know, it just feels like, um, you know, if you have a story or something that's been percolating inside for a while, you might not necessarily know where you're going with it, but you just might need to have feel the need to get it down on paper. And if you're feeling that energy, just do it because you never know um, what it might be. It could even be like a diary or something that you can turn into um, something more fun, something that other people can read. 
but whatever your situation is, okay, you are a leader, not a follower, all right? And sometimes the leader of the pack, the innovator, doesn't necessarily know where they're going. They just trust that they're headed in the right way, okay? So um, follow your intuition, okay? Just go wherever it is you're guided to go, what feels right, what does your gut tell you, and just know that you are moving forward, okay? You've got a new chapter, a new phase coming in here for you. And, um, you know, all will be revealed in due course, due time. Um, be open to opportunities and uh, information or guidance that may come in to your life, though. It could come from a person. Um, it could come from, you know, a dream, just something. Hey, okay, be open. So let's see what else we've got for you guys. Uh, so we have the Two of Pentacles. We have the death card that is crossing you, okay. Beneath you, we have the Empress. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups. And we have the Eight of Pentacles there, okay. So there may be, there's a little bit of resistance to something here, okay. And I feel this has to do um, you know, with, you're at crossroads a little bit in your life right now, it feels, okay? Um, the Two of Pentacles can quite often be, um, for one, it can be quite often be uh, juggling a whole bunch of uh, priorities, okay? Um, time management skills. And, you know, you've got a lot on your plate right now. You're juggling your work, your home, and you're keeping it together. You see this guy, he's still standing up there, but it just feels like in this energy that you know, you may make you might make things look easy to other people, but if one more person puts something on your plate, okay, you're gonna topple over because you're standing on one foot right now. Okay, so there may be something that you need to give back to somebody. There may be some change that you need to make in your life. All right, but the two of pentacles can also be about weighing up your options trying to make a decision about something. In this case, it may be most specifically about money, your career path. Um, it could also be about your home, okay, something in your material world, okay, because something, it feels as though you've lost an emotional connection to something, something is not necessarily going your way, and something needs to give. And you may be a little bit undecided at the moment, okay, because we do have the death card that is crossing you, this is Scorpio energy, and it is about transformation and about change, out with the old, in with the new, there's something new knocking at your door, a new path into the unknown, all right, and there, but there's a resistance energy here, okay, a resistance to change. Now, it could just be, you know, um, you know, with this two of pentacles, it could just be that you might know that you need to make some change. You might know that you need to, um, you know, find your firm footing because this is not really firm footing. It look, you know, you might look, make it look that way to other people, but ultimately you're a little bit off balance, right? And again, one more thing is just going to like throw you right, right overboard. Okay. But there could be a little bit of indecision. There could be a little bit of fear, because sometimes people really are afraid of fear. Leaving your comfort zone, even though it doesn't feel that comfortable with that two of pentacles, okay, sometimes we sometimes we get used to something, we get used to a situation, even if it's not sustainable for the long term, even if we feel a little bit overworked, we're juggling way, way, way too much, okay? And there is a need to make a decision. And so, you know, even if you're in your comfort zone, right, there's, you know, there's a desire to change when this death card comes out, but it's, there's a resistance at the same time. It's like, it's like, you know, that you need to, um, make a decision on something, you know, that you might need to change direction on something or try something that scares you. All right. But what that does is that would bring in some positive energy for you. Okay. Uh, like a fresh start, like a clean slate that's there. Okay. Now this could be that you may, um, you might not need to make physical change at the moment. Okay. This can be something brewing up within you. Okay. Because it feels with the five of cups that you're in your crowning position there that you're dealing with something that either hasn't, isn't working out the way that you wanted to. Okay. Or has you in some way focusing on your problems and not your solutions, okay? All is not lost when we have the five of cups, 
Um, but again, there's something that needs to give. There's something that needs to change there. And that can be your way of thinking. It could be that you need to give somebody else their responsibilities back, right? Especially, you know, um, especially if you uh, are someone that tends to take the weight of the world on your shoulders. All right. There could be a workplace situation, right? You may... Um, you may be uh, left holding the bag, right? You're the one that gets everything done and your teammates, your workmates um, may be slackers, okay? And while you're per perfectly capable of it, ultimately it has you feeling down, okay? That five of cups energy, it has you feeling like you're not totally fulfilled, okay? It's taking away from you. It's taking away from your emotions, okay? It's uh, it's having a negative impact on on you. Okay. So something there needs to change for you. All right. And again, it can be your workplace. It can just be your direction, your sense of where you want to go, trying something new. Okay. Making that decision. Okay. It could be a little bit of fear with that. Okay. It could just be the fear of the unknown, right? Even though, you know, we get stuck in our comfort zone sometimes, but there is a need to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. And when we have the death card, it's a gentle transformation. It's a gentle change to kind of like give us a little bit of a poke in the ribs um, to get us going, to get us moving. Okay. Um, that change is always for your best and highest good. You come out wonderfully in the end. Okay. But there is that need uh, to make a decision and to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Okay. Or to have a conversation that scares you. Right. So um, be a leader. Okay. Be a leader. Um, and, you know, um, and, you know, be very confident in your abilities as well, because you are skilled. Okay. You're skilled at everything that you do and probably to your detriment. All right. Because again, with that two of pentacles, you may just may make everything look super easy and people just keep on piling more stuff on you. Right. And because you make it look easy, but ultimately it's got you, you know, kind of wrapped up a little bit here. So something needs to, something needs to change there. All right. But the um, Empress, the Empress beneath you. Okay. This is a time of creation for you. It's a time of abundance. Um, it's a time to nurture new beginnings. This is a creative energy as well, right? Um, you know, creativity, fertility, you're very connected with yourself, with your home. Okay. And whatever it is that you, whatever you start right now, whatever new ventures that you start right now, you will be abundantly successful at it. This is your time to start something new. This is your time for positive change, a new career, a new relationship. Okay. Um, the Empress, I have to say, is a fertility card. Okay. It is quite often a pregnancy card. And we actually do have a page here. Um, you know, so uh, I don't feel I'm not getting a pregnancy energy. Okay. But, um, but you could be uh, talking about starting a family and that can have you a little bit, um, uh, you, you either have started talking about it or you may have been trying for a while and you may feel as though it's not quite going your way. All right. And, you know, so there's a little bit of fear that's attached there. Okay. And it feels like change is trying to come in here. Um, but there's again, that little bit of fear. So if you have been trying to get pregnant, get pregnant for a while, um, it feels like, you know, it feels like you may want to shift your focus to something else a little bit. Sometimes when we focus too much on, um, on our goal, uh, sometimes we can actually cause ourselves a lot of stress. And, um, you know, sometimes if we need, if we, sometimes there's a need there to let go a little bit. Okay. And, um, you know, shift your focus onto something else. Okay. Shift your focus onto something fun, something that's emotionally fulfilling and, um, you know, and then, uh, and then, uh, try again, uh, a little bit later on. Right. Cause it just feels as though there's some disappointment there, but there may also be a conversation that needs to be had with a partner, with a person. You may be at odds with your person. You might want to be starting a family and they might not want to be, um, you know, or you just might not be on the same page, okay? Or you might be a little bit afraid of having that conversation with your person, all right? Um, you know, uh, just where are we going, right? What direction are we headed in? You don't know. And, um, but there's a need to, um, there's a need to get something out in the open, okay? Because something needs to change there, right? There might be a little bit of an impasse there, okay? And that could be a scary conversation to have, okay? But um, but uh, you may need to get that out in the open because it's not doing 
it's not doing you any good. All right. It's, it's having, it feels you're, you've got a heavy heart. Okay. So whatever your situation is, this is the time to create. Okay. Advice from spirit page of pentacles, take action, move forward. Okay. Whatever you put into motion right now, you will be prosperous. Okay. If you have a new idea, if you have a new venture that you're looking, uh, that you're looking at, take action. Okay. Be on the lookout for, um, you know, for messages as well, especially in regards to your career and finances there. Um, be open to opportunities, okay. Or some guidance. And, um, you know, should you take that, that comes in, it could become from a friend. Um, it could just come from, you know, something you read, something that gives you inspiration. Okay. Um, and be open to messages because those pages bring in messages as well. So be open to messages, be open to change. Okay. Be open to something new. Um, because whatever it is that you put your time, energy, and attention to right now with both the Empress and the Page of Pentacles, this puts you on the path to success. Okay. You may need to take a step back from something. Okay. Or you may need to start small on something and that has the opportunity to grow and expand into something big. And we have got, as your advice, we have the page of pentacles and then your outcome energy. We have the eight of pentacles here, which is mastery. Okay. So whatever you put your attention to, you have the opportunity to master something. Okay. To be successful at something there. All right. And there is prosperity that's attached to that. Okay. And prosperity comes in all different forms. Okay. This could be money. This could be your home life. Okay. This could be your creative writing endeavor. All right. Anything like that. So very, a very, very positive time for you to put something in motion, take action and be open. Okay. Be open to new opportunities. Because again, like we said, you know, we've got the five of cups that's in your crowning position. So something needs to change. There is a need to refocus your energy, refocus your emotions onto something different. Okay. There may be something that hasn't gone your way. There may be something that, you know, um, again, with this two of pentacles, right? You have a lot of priorities, a lot of responsibilities, and you're making it on the outside to other people. You're making it look really easy, but look what it's doing to you. Okay. It's causing you to feel down. It's causing you a little bit of, um, a little bit of, um, negative emotions there, right? It's like, well, okay, I'll do it. But like, seriously, it's like for every, for every, um, for every priority that you take on the more workload, the more responsibilities that you take on, it also takes that piece away from you. Okay. So, um, you know, again, with that death card energy there, something has to give, something needs to change because we need to shift your focus from the problem, from the negative, And we need to focus you back on what is available to you on the solution rather than the problem. Okay. So what moves you? What do you love? Okay. There is this, there is and there is an opportunity here to correct your situation, a course correction. Okay. There is an opportunity here to focus on this positive. You've still got two of these cups standing up. Okay. So, um, you know, if you need to have a conversation with someone that's weighing you down, have the conversation. All is not lost. Okay. There might be a little bit of fear. Okay. But all is not lost. And if you get things out in the open, um, you know, it frees you up no matter what the outcome. Okay, when you shift your focus onto something different and those two cups, okay, the, the cups, it's your emotions. Okay, but that's also your creativity and that's tied to that as well. Okay, so focus on your positive aspects, anything that's causing you, um, causing, causing you pain, sadness, um, that's weighing you down, we, uh, feel, making your heart feel heavy, anything that you're not emotionally connected to. Okay, there's focus on moving forward, focus on positive change there. And change is scary, all right, because it does put you into unknown territory, but ultimately you are very skilled. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles, you're a master at life, you're a master at your craft, and you have what it takes to um, find your solutions, find your way forward, okay, to make positive change if you need to make change, okay. Focus on your solution and you will master 
um, master your way forward, master your problems, master your solutions to your problems, I should say. Okay. Um, for some, you may need to um, make a further investment. The Eight of Pentacles is about investing your time, your energy, your knowledge and attention. Okay. In order to um, in order to uh, make yourself an abundant life. Okay. This can be your education. Okay. It could just be your skill set. It's quite often an apprenticeship. Okay. But it's certainly one of being very focused and, um, you know, being very focused and working your way step by step towards your success, towards your abundance there. Okay. You're very, very skilled at everything you do. So again, a time of creativity, make a decision, welcome a change in your life, whatever that is. Okay. Change, shift your focus. Okay. Focus on what you love. Focus on a solution, not the problem. Okay. Be open and be ready to take action. Um, um, be open and available for opportunities. Okay. A fresh step, a fresh start. All right. Communication may come into play here as part of your solution. And then when you come right around back circle, okay, here you are working away, being very happy at what you do. Okay. Finding, finding your way forward no matter what. Okay. So, um, I'm going to leave that there for you guys. Okay. So, uh, there's some decisions to make a little bit, something to get in motion, something that's trying to come out. So, but we have the full moon in the middle of the week for you on the 24th. So I'm going to get one last word of advice from their queen of the moon oracle. And we have change. change. <laughs> okay, what are we resisting? Change. And what is our final piece of advice? Change. Change is in the wind for you. Okay. And it's on the horizon for you. Okay. And your answer to your problems, your solution to find your way forward is to embrace the change, not resist the change. You have the power to change. You have the power to focus on your a way forward. Okay. You have the power to overcome obstacles. Okay. So there's some change that's here for you. Resistance is futile. And I tell you, um, you know, I tell you if we resist, if we resist change for long enough, okay. And if we get stuck for too long, that's when those tower moments come in. Right. And that's a way of getting us unstuck. And with the death card here, it's a more gentle, more transformative change. Okay. We're a little bit more in charge of our situation. Okay. And we have a chance to do things at our, at our own pace, but, uh, there is a requirement to move forward. And if we, and this is a reminder here with this thunder moon, with this change is that, you know, if we don't, um, you know, if we don't take some action, we don't come out of our comfort zone, we don't find our way forward and we remain stuck in one spot, then sometimes we get that little lightning bolt, okay? We get a little bit more assistance, okay? That swift kick in the butt with, when we get a tower card in there instead, okay? So that's what this thunder moon here is giving us. That's what this explosive energy is giving us, that you have the power to change, okay? There's something not working for you, something that's causing you grief, all right? And something that needs to change so that you can move forward, okay? Strive for this Eight of Pentacles. And um, this change card, it's number 35. So when we reduce that, that breaks down into an eight. And of course, the Eight of Pentacles here, we have that eight there as well, okay? So, um, you know, so there is... A solution okay and eights are about um, you know are about self but they're also about um, abundance okay so you have a lot of opportunities on the horizon and you have solutions there so it just requires you to embrace that change and not try and push it away okay it's scary but yes okay just and it's a little it can be easy all right, just, uh, you know, embrace it, get out of your comfort zone a little bit, okay? And even if you're dealing with a relationship, okay, there is something salvageable here, okay? All is not lost, no matter what your situation is here with that five of cups. All is not lost, okay? There are solutions to be found, okay? Eight of pentacles, finding solutions, okay? Um, but there is something that needs to give so that you're not stuck in one spot. 
And so I'm going to leave that there for you, Gemini, okay? Hopefully there was something in this reading that uh, that resonated with you. It may have been a little bit. It may have been the whole thing. But if there was, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a fabulous week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.